Hello and welcome to our stream. Miller South Media, I'm Ben Barthlow. We're just going to be covering some senior night action as we're going to be recognizing our boys and girls basketball seniors as long as our majorettes and dance team seniors. That was Braden Kennedy to solve. Next up is Jackson Crane. Next up is Gage Stenger, the son of Shayer and Jim Stenger. This is the dance team coached by Miss Rachel Gordon. First up, Lindsay Cater, daughter of Karen and Darren Cater. Next is Allison Coons, daughter of Heather and Brent Coons. Also with her is her sister, Madeline Coons. Next up is Miss Anna Pinkle, the daughter of Karen and Andy Pinkle. Next up is Savannah Smith, the daughter of Rebecca Smith and Dan Smith. Maybe. Moving on to the varsity cheerleaders, coached by Miss Sherry Burris. First up is Carly Benat, the daughter of Dana and Joe Benat. Next is Mallory Childers, yeah! escorting Mallory's Don Armstrong. Next up is Sydney Linder, the daughter of Christine and Chris Linder. Next up is Kaylee McDermott, the daughter of Kathy Hoyt and Mike McDermott. Next is Taylor Peterson, the daughter of Jessica Williams and Matt Peterson. Next is Sydney Riley, daughter of Tina Sandoval and Chad Riley.
Next is Tori Tabeldi, the daughter of Veronica and Todd Tabeldi. Next is Piper Thompson, the daughter of Shelly Thompson and Chad Thompson. Now it's time for the Miller South Majorettes. First up, Damiana Chin, daughter of Tara Chin and Douglas Valdez. And once again, Madeline Coombs, the daughter of Heather and Brett Coombs. And finally, this evening, the Varsity Girls Basketball, coached by Mr. Bryce Myers. First up is Megan Belt, the daughter of Doug and Al Belt. Next is Miss Ella Hawkinson, the daughter of Bellamy and Stephen Hawkinson. Seniors and parents, thank you for your dedication and support to these Miller South programs. It's because of people like you that make our programs a great success. Ladies and gentlemen, your senior athletes and parents for the winter sports season, give it up for them, please. All right, that was the senior ceremony. We will get ready for um, the boys game in just a little bit, so stay tuned.
Hello everyone and welcome to Millard South Media. We're live from Millard South High School with the Millard South Patriots take on Omaha North Vikings. Here comes the tip. Lance Rucker on the south side. And Rai Lu from Omaha North. Omaha North wins the tip and here they come. Three pointer there, knocks that one down. Early start right there for Omaha North. Yeah, getting good on the shot there. That's Thomas averaging 7.9 points per game. Omaha North in the zone. Start off again. Ooh. Will Cooper, three pointer. Can't get that one to go. Here come the Vikings. They lead by oh. three. Strong drive on the right side. Blocked from behind. And here comes Gage. That'll be Patriot basketball. Gage Stanger brings it up the floor. Amon North staying in that zone. Got to watch for Will Cooper here. Oh. Lob to Austin Trotter. Can't get that. Can't get the finish. A little too short there. As Rucker tries to his charge, it's a blocking foul. They almost had that lob there. Yeah. Great play call right there. Just wasn't able to get it to go. Yeah, it would have been a great way to get some momentum on their side early in this one. Seven minutes left in this first quarter. This is strong at the line. Can't get the first one to go. He's averaging 15.8 points per game. Their leading scorer. Patriots got to watch out for him all night long. Gets the second one to go, and the Vikings lead by four. Now we see a zone press. Not many teams press the Patriots. Let's see how they handle it. Gray gets fairly easily. And now Gage going to the rim. Kick out Austin Trotter, three-pointer. Knocks that one down on the right side. Good shot there from Austin Trotter. Austin Trotter really came on later in this season. Just having himself a great year. Definitely picking it up, getting hot at the right time, leading into this postseason. We get a turnover and Millard South ball. Millard South, if they can win this one tonight and then head over to Omaha West Side tomorrow. And you know, West Side is down a couple players. They, they lost last game. So if they can win two games, this would really help them with a great district matchup first round to say. Yeah, fighting for some good seeding here. Got to win these ones. Good rebound by Austin Trotter. Trotter foul. He'll head to the line. He'll be fouled and go to the line for two. Rondell Thomas hits it from yeah, the West Side, a tough first. opponent. Rings number one foul. in the state. Going to be hard for them to get a win there. But we've seen the Patriots compete well against some good teams all year long. Trotter can't get the first one in. Austin Trotter averaging about 6.4 points per game. He has the ability to have a big game any night. We saw him drop over 20 points against Millard West. Millard South switching to his zone. Come on, North comes into this one 13 and nine. Have themselves a pretty, pretty good season. As the Patriots are 11 and 9. Long three pointer there. Can't get that one to go. Rebound by Will Cooper. Here comes Gage, the senior. It is senior night here tonight. Here's Braden Cannon with it. Now Austin Trotter. Inside to Gage. This is our first post entry inside to Lance. Man, it's going to be a huge factor here tonight. Almost a turnover there. Cage is able to recover. Looking inside the lance once again. 
Three-pointer, Will Cooper, a long one. Short. Another rebound by the Patriots, and a good pass down low to Trotter. Can't get that one in. Vikings finally able to get a rebound there, and here they come. They lead 4-3 to three with five minutes left in this first quarter. Now we see Maljaw come over to the scorer's table to check in. Patriots still in this 2-3 zone. Vikings got to get something going to the middle. Long three-point shot. Misses that one off the right side. Rebound by Braden Cannon, the other senior. Pass inside to Braden Cannon. Now Gage with it at the top of the key. I'd like to see them keep feeding it down low to Lance. They yeah. spoil the ball quite frequently when they get it down there. Yeah, big size advantage. Not really height, but just the weight advantage. He's probably got 50 pounds on his defender. Oh, good finish there. It's number 24, Williams. Good finish. Not that often that people go up with Lance Rucker. But he went up and got that one in. See Maljal check in here. Brady Cannell will check out. Comes the attempt to complete the end one, and he does. Vikings lead 7-3 to three with four minutes left in this first quarter. Off to a good start. Patriots got to find some offense. They've been getting some good shots, just haven't knocked anything down. I'd like to see them get into Lance a little bit more. Gage inside, draws the triple team, and Will Cooper a three-pointer. Misses that one. Best start here tonight from the three-point line. They're really going to need to get Will Cooper going as he averages 11 points per game. Here he checks out for Jackson Crane, our third and final senior. Mid-range pull-up in and out. comes Gage, speeding it down the court. Now Austin Trotter with it. Gage with at the top of the key. Omaha North still in this 2-3 zone. Patriots haven't given any reason to step out of it. Finally get something going inside. And they call a travel there. Didn't look like a travel from our angle. Yeah. Now Will Cooper will head to the scorer's table to check back in. Mid-range pull up. Got that one in. Good job by the Vikings to get it into the middle and kind of beat that zone as they lead by six points down, nine to three. And the Patriots will take a timeout. Brock, what have you seen from the Patriots so far? What do they need to do better? They're just kind of, you know, dead right now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I feel like the last home game we announced when they played Lincoln Northeast, they were just flying all over the court, and that just got them a lot of points. Um, you know, really, they just haven't been able to hit anything. I'd like to see the ball get into... Um, Lance a little bit more, but you know, other than that, they just got to make these shots. Yeah, got to bring the energy more, and then the shots will start to come. Vikings lead nine to three with 2:32 left in this first quarter. Both teams are about to come out of the huddle here. Taking a look at both of these teams, the Vikings come to it ranked 14th in Class A, as the Patriots are then ranked 17th. 
So Omaha North with a slight advantage here tonight. But other than that, both teams pretty even. Omaha North has switched to a 1-3-1 now. North South has got to be careful when they get the ball in the corners. This 1-3-1 defense designed to bring a lot of traps. Gage with trying to get it into Lance, and he does. Patriots just can't get anything to go here in this first quarter. We're six minutes in with only three points on the board. Oh. Good pass down low, but he fumbled it. The Vikings are able to recover. Patriots still in this zone. Both teams playing at a pretty slow pace. Yeah. Not much scoring so far. And that'll be a charge drawn by Lance Rucker. Great job by him there. Rucker takes the charge there. Great job by him. We see him take one of those pretty much every game. Yeah. That was a great job. You can kind of see that one was coming once, you know, Williams got by that defender. He was full steam to the hoop right there. He wasn't giving that one up. Lance did a great job setting his feet, taking the charge. Yeah, great job to sacrifice the body there. Patriots got to get something going here on the offensive end. Haven't been able to knock many shots down, but also haven't got the best of looks. It's a good look there from three there. Oh. In and out, can't get that one to go. Will Cooper, a very cold start here. Yeah. 0 for 4 right now from three for Will, something you don't normally see. Yeah, he's got to get something going for the three-point line, beating their leading, leading scorer on this team. Patriots still in with three points. They got to get something going downhill here. 25 seconds left in this first quarter, up by six. Patriots bring the trap, trying to force a turnover. Ooh, that might have been a carry right there. Yeah, it looks like a carry, but that'll be a foul on Will Cooper. North has 15 seconds here. They're going to hold for the last shot. Just dipped under 10. 9. Vikings up by 6. Trying to get something going downhill. 5 seconds left. You get a mid-range pull up there. Late a, call. It'll be a late call on the foul shot there. He'll go to the line for 2. That'll give the Patriots about 4 seconds to get down the floor and possibly get a score. This is the first free throw. Here comes the second attempt. He knocks that one down. That'll give the Patriots 4.3 seconds. Now Gage bringing up the floor with two seconds. Now one. Got to get something up. He does at the buzzer. Oh. Won't connect there. And that'll be a reach-in foul. Looked like that one was going to be on the shot, but it's not called. Vikings lead 10 to 3. With eight minutes left in this one, in the sec or going into the second quarter. Well, it's kind of a, been a really slow game here. Brock, what do the Patriots need to do to get going in this one? Uh, they need to get the ball inside. Um, it's been a lot of three point shots so far, but they got to try and get something inside, get some layups or some mid range jump shots, or maybe some, you know, better high quality kick out threes. Um, you know, Omaha North really isn't doing much better, just able to make down a couple shots and a couple free throws, so. Yeah, they gotta do a better job. We wanna take a look at our sponsorship. Millard's Best Sports Bar located just down the street at 138th of P. It offers Omaha's best fajitas, phenomenal street tacos, and a private party room. 
locally owned by Millard residents who proudly support Millard South Athletics. Next time you want excellent food at a great price, visit the Corner Kick at 138th and P. Great food down there at the Corner Kick. Definitely stop down there after the stream here tonight. Vikings lead 10 to three. Yeah, Millard South also shooting one for nine from the field right yeah. now. Only bucket by Austin Trotter earlier in the half. Yeah, they gotta get something going. The shots haven't been the greatest of looks, but nothing you wanna usually pass up. They just really haven't been able to get anything to go. Yeah. Now Gage with it inside to Lance Rucker. Now Trotter back inside and the one. Euro. And one. Nice finish Good there finish. from Trotter. He has all five points for the Patriots. Sean Evans, his first 13th foul. Oh, Miller South 0 for 3 from the field goal. Or, excuse me, free throw. Got to make those if they want to win this one tonight. Patriots have cut this down to a five-point lead. As you see a three-pointer in the corner there. Good shot. That's number 10, Evans. Good shot there from Will Cooper. Lower South switching back to his own. Got to start getting some stops here. Ooh, that's his second. Got to be a foul there. Will Cooper forcing him to come to the line with two fouls. Hard take right right there. Good finish through contact. A yeah, good shot inside here. Now here come the Patriots. A turnover there. Oh. Good job by Gage and Tip, but they get the ball back. Here comes a dunk. Oh. Oh, but he misses <laughs> that one. <laughs> Thought he was gonna go up for it, but came up a little bit short. <laughs> and their coach is not happy. <laughs> the bench <laughs> laughing at him, right? <laughs> Thought he was gonna dunk that one, wasn't yeah. able to. Went up like he was gonna have a vicious dunk. <laughs> a little weird couple steps going up. Even the ref joining in on the laugh here. Yeah. Misses that one. Rebound by the Vikings. Pointer misses that one. Rebound by Mal Jaw. And another turnover by the Patriots. Nice and a hard, difficult shot there. Yeah. Nice basket right there. That's Thomas with the fadeaway. Yeah. Go up 10 right there. That's huge. Yeah, they kind of took the momentum on that last possession. Oh, wow. And another turnover. And here come. And he gets the layup. Nice finish there. That's strong inside, averaging 15 points per game. And now, just like that, the Vikings are up 12. Just the Patriots coming out sluggish out of that break. Yeah. Brock, what are you seeing from them? What's going on here? It's just, you know, like I said earlier, it's just really, you know, not like a happy place for them right now. It doesn't really look like they want to, you know, play. They really got to start going, though. Um, they only have seven points right now, and at the pace they're going, if they want to cut this one down, they got to start going. They got to be able to hit shots. They have one three. They're three for 12 from the field right now, so they got to start making shots. And just we haven't seen Lance Rucker at all tonight, so you know I think they just got to get Lance the ball and let him do his thing. He's just so big in the paint. We've seen it so many times how good he is in there. So. Yeah, I'd like to see a little more of that. Yeah, they're playing very sluggish. And for the Vikings, they're doing a good job at limiting Lance. When they get it down there, they're bringing triple teams, double teams, forcing them to kick out. And the Patriots, if they're not going to be able to hit shots, they're going to keep bringing those double teams. You know? Yeah. If 
Patriots can start hitting some shots, it's going to make them respect that those three-point shooters a lot more and give Lance some more one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Yeah, and Omaha North is really flying around the court right now. You've seen it multiple times where they're just, you know, swinging their hands, able to tip the ball, steal the ball, and then they're getting points out of it. So Millard South is really going to have to try and take care of it if they want to, you know, cut this lead down. Yeah, we don't usually see a lot of turnovers from them. They're pretty uh, strong with the ball in their hands, but a lot of turnovers here tonight. Austin Trotter, another three from that same spot. Can't get that one in. No foul. Ooh. I'm not sure how that wasn't a foul. Brayden Kenny got whacked by two defenders. Oh, nice good pass. Good pass there. And another char charge yep. drawn by Lance Rucker. That's his second of the game. Offensive foul, number 12, Ray Lou, whistle for that. His first. You can see almost on every possession they're trying to get it into Lance, but the zone of Omaha North is making it really hard to fit passes inside to him. Long skip pass there. Now Will Cooper with it. Oh, nice pass. Good pass. Pass. There you go. And an even better pass there. Ooh. Can't get that one in. He's 0 for 5 now from the three point line. And that'll be a timeout called by the Vikings. They lead 19 to 7. We'll rejoin you after this quick break. We rejoin you as the Vikings lead 19 to 7 with 4:52 left in this second quarter. Patriots now in a 1-3-1 zone. Long pass there, the steal by Austin Trotter. The Vikings do recover, and that'll be a kick ball. Vikings ball. to get it in. They'll call a push there on Gage Stanger. <laughs> <Cool. laughs> He's just <laughs> on the ground trying to plead his case to the ref. I'm not, even, I'm not sure what just happened there. Trotter with it now. One of their only scores here tonight. Another turnover there. And the Patriots just coming out very sluggish and just not a whole lot going on for them on the offensive end. Good, re good strong rebound there by Lance Rucker. They gotta get him going on the offensive end. Him and Coop really haven't got any looks. Two leading scorers for the Patriots are Will Cooper and Lance Rucker. 
Got to get Will going here in this one, and then they get Lance going as well. And usually once Will gets going, so does Lance, because then they stop bringing the double teams, and they got to help one Will Cooper, and Lance gets more one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Yeah. We haven't really seen much of either right now, so both of these players can start going. start getting some stops here. Mid-range pull-up. Out, Wilmot North gets another offensive rebound. Misses it again, and another offensive rebound. A steal there by Trotter, and here come the Patriots. They're down eight points right now, 21 to 13, with 2.35 left in the second quarter. A long pass to Maljal there. Uh. Vikings playing very patient on the offensive end. Trotter, three-pointer, too strong. Turnover there. The Patriots ball. Sorry for the audio troubles there. Vikings lead 21 to 14 with 45 seconds left. 
Patriots probably going to hold for the last shot here. With 40 seconds left. Trotter with it. Over to Cooper at the top of the key. Very low scoring first half for the Patriots. Will Cooper a three pointer. Too strong. Can't get that one to go. Brady Cannon fighting for it down low. That'll be a foul. Ray Lou. That foul's on Ray Lou. Trotter and Gage. Gage and Lance will check in now. A lob to Austin Trotter. Can't finish it though. And here comes Omaha North. Strong drive inside and a kick out three. Knocks that one down. That's Matthew Strong, their leading scorer. Averaging 15 points per game. Two seconds left. Long three-pointer from Gage. Misses that one. The Vikings took the, take the momentum going into the second half. Rock, what do the Patriots need to do to get back in this one? They're down by 10 here. They, they got to stop turning the ball over. Really, they're killing all their possessions before they're even happening. Um, you know, and they really got to take their time. You see Omaha North really taking their time, getting the best shot, kick out threes. Um, I like to see that from North South a little bit more. And they got to get Lance Rucker going. He has two points or something like that, I believe. So, you know, the team's not going to be in a good place when Lance isn't scoring the ball. Yeah, thank you. Thanks once again, for everyone joining us here tonight on Millard South Media. We're going to head to halftime. We'll see you guys in about 10 minutes.
Hello everyone and welcome back to Millard South Media. Ooh. Both teams still in the zone here. Be an inbound here for the Vikings. Five. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. I also have the echo. Here comes Gage Stanger bringing it up the floor. Now Braden Cannon with it. Echo. Lance Rucker. Rucker scores. Now they are only down by eight. Patriots, Gage Shanger bringing it up the floor. Mount North still in this zone defense in the 2 3. Mid range pull up, knocks that one down. We don't see Gage shoot the ball often, but he knocks him, knocking some down tonight. Vikings lead by six. Good drive there, but he misses that one, and here comes Gage Stanger. Good pass to Austin Trotter, three-pointer. Can't get that one to go. Oh. Gonna be a foul there. The Patriots basketball. Uh. Braden Cannon with it now. Oh. And a turnover there. Trying to get it to Gage, but a miscommunication. Good defense there from Stanger. Foul on the Vikings. And we have foul on the Vikings Patriots basketball. Rondale Thomas is third. Second team foul. There's Trotter with it. They're down by only six now. And the Wilkes shoot pooper three. Misses that one. Still not knocking down a lot of shots here tonight. Now inside Lance Rucker. They bring the double team. Good pass to Braden Cannon. He finishes that one. Great finish. That's exactly what they need. <coughs> Bro, my mic is <laughs> Oh.
Sorry for the audio troubles there. Lance Rucker with at the top of the key. The Vikings lead 27 to 20 with 5.18 left in this third quarter. For all you wrestling fans watching this game, Joel Adams just punched his ticket to the finals. Good job by Joel Adams there. Gonna be a lot of others punching their ticket as well tonight. Already have the 113 Miles Anderson, so already two in the finals. I believe Tyler's wrestling right now, so. Rucker knocks down the first free throw. Can't get the second one to go. Vikings lead 27 to 21. We're almost halfway through this third quarter. Good ball fake there. And another charge drawn by Lance Rucker. That's his third of the night. It's his third one drawn tonight. What a job from Lance Rucker. Cannon off the screen, trying to get something down low to Lance. They got him. Goes up and on one. the double team and an and one there. Good strong finish there from Lance Rucker. They were holding him as he was going up for that ball, but still was able to catch it. And go up for the fillet. Completes the end one there with the free throw. Cutting it down to the shortest lead of the night for the Vikings. Patriots down by three, 27 to 24. And slowly but surely, the Patriots have drawn themselves back into this game. Yeah, you see a lot more energy on the defensive side, a lot more flying around of the ball. Crowds into this one a little bit more too. You can live with that shot, yeah. Bad mid-range pull up there, and here come the Patriots. Can't allow any more turnovers. Got to get themselves back in this one. There's a foul from behind there. See, the energy has really picked up in this arena. Gonna be the 16th foul on the Vikings. Almost already in that one and one. Gonna throw something deep here, because that was good defense there from the Vikings. Oh, good, good block. block there. It's number 22, Williams. And here he comes up the floor. Foul on Gage there. Now will be on the floor. The Vikings ball. Now Gage checks out, checks out as that's his third foul. Good defense right there. Good switch there on the screen. Cooper. Oh. Not sure how that was a foul. Both arms straight up. That's what the ref saw, and that's what he called. Foul touch of Patriots, 33. Will Cooper, his third. Fourth team foul. Austin Trotter in. Trotter will check in for Will Cooper. Now 
from out north with it. Haven't scored in a while. There's a long three-pointer there. Misses that one. A rebound by Austin Trotter. Here comes Jackson Crane. Other South got to get a good shot here. You know, hit a layup or mid-range or down two, hit a three. Tie game. Yeah, only three minutes left in this third quarter. If they can go on a little scoring run here and take the momentum going into the fourth. Oh, yeah. the hold. The foul Lance Rucker down low. We've seen it get chippy down low. One on one. Be the one and one already. Jordan Williams goes to the foul. His first. Patriots in the bonus. Rucker shooting. Attempt. Rucker knocks the first one down. This is the one and one, so he'll get in the second attempt to cut this lead down to one. with it, haven't scored in a long time. A steal there by Maljaw. One on one, going to the rim. On. And he's fouled. Going up, he'll have two free throws. Free throw attempt, and he ties this game up, knocking that one down. We're back now after some audio troubles there. Patriots lead 28 to 27. Stay tuned for a special guest in the fourth quarter of this one. Two minutes left in the third. Long three pointer there. Misses that one and the Vikings have not scored in a long time. There's another three-point shot. They're just not really getting a lot of whole, a lot of good looks on the offensive end. We're back now. Headsets are having some trouble. That's why we had to keep taking these breaks. Lance Rucker at the free throw line. Knocks that one down. Now they're up 30 to 27. The Vikings have not scored in over five minutes. The Patriots have took advantage of it, playing very well on the defensive end. Long three-point shot. And they're just chucking up threes oh. at this point. 
And that'll be a there was a foul called on Austin Trotter. I'm not sure where the contact was, so I can't even tell you. That's his fourth foul, so that foul could prove to be make a big difference later in this game. The Vikings are finally able to get a some points on the board after a long drought. No scoring, Will Cooper three. Can't get that one in, that would have been huge for them Good going take. into the fourth quarter, but a nice finish there from Maul Jaw. The Patriots lead by three with a minute left in the third. And another steal there for the rebound. Here comes Jackson Crane. Good pass down low to Lance Rucker, and the Patriots lead by five. And like I said earlier, they needed to take the momentum going in the fourth, and they're doing that right now. Yeah, doing a great job on the offensive side. More controlled offense, and that's what happened. Vikings gonna hold for the last shot here. With 25 seconds left in the third. And a turnover there. Will Cooper jumps on it. And now call a travel. I think we had travel as Will Cooper kind of rolled on the ground. So it'll be Vikings ball with 18 seconds. And another steal. Will Cooper with it now. 10 seconds left in this third quarter. Patriots up five. Seven. Gotta go. Six. Gotta, gotta go. get something going to the rim. Four. Small draw. Three. Oh, got it. An off-balance oh. shot there. Rebound by oh, Lance. It. Will Cooper. Count it. Oh, oh God. missed that one. <laughs> so the Patriots lead 35 to 29. Rock, what did the Patriots do well in that third quarter to get themselves back in this game? The energy. They were just flying over the court right there. And I felt like, you know, when they had the ball at the offense, they were more of a threat right there. They were kind of just taking, you know, average shots in the first half, but really, they're really getting to the paint right here, and Lance is doing a great job. And they gotta keep it up, though. There's eight minutes left. Yeah, the Patriots march their way back in this one. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a game. Patriots lead 34 to 29, headed into the fourth. Welcome back to Millard South Media. The Patriots lead 34 to 29. We've got a special guest here, Jack Cooper. Rock, take it away. Jack, great to have you back in this gym. A lot of great memories in here. Great um, to be back. What's your, what's your favorite memory of your four-year career? Oh, man, there's a lot, but I'd probably have to say that junior year game against Prep. Yeah. Man, that game was crazy. Um, Michael Harding with the game-winning layup. Just uh, all the events that happened up to that point, the and one I had, um, it just was a great atmosphere. Uh, student section was rocking, loudest I've ever heard this gym before. It was just, it was great. Uh, I think we had a snow day the next day we too. Did, yeah. Yeah, 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 that made that made it even better. But oh, yeah. yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Yeah, they announced that one. They announced the snow day during the game. Yeah. So everyone was, was hyped. Yeah, the yeah, game yeah game I remember day. that. Yeah. What have you seen from Millard South so far? And you know, how do they come out with this win tonight? I've seen a lot of great things. I think they're really battling in this second half. Uh, a lot of t I've, seen, I've seen a lot of ticky-tack fouls, but they're really playing through it. And uh, Lance is starting to finish underneath the rim. Like to see that. Want to see Will knock down a couple threes this quarter. He uh, got off to a slow start, but yeah. yeah I, I, I like their battle right now. Yeah. After the postseason run we had last year, um, you know, pretty much the same roster, but just a little more like younger team. 
Uh, what's one thing you would tell the guys, you know, on the push we had last year? Like, what do they have to do the same if they want to make a push? Man, I mean, Lucian preaches it all the time, stay the course. That's, that's basically what we did last year, you know. There were days where we didn't feel like going to practice, didn't feel like getting extra shots up. You know, when we were losing games, I think we were, what, well, five and nine at yeah. one point? Yeah. yeah. And that's, I mean, we just kept playing, you know. It doesn't, like, everyone's record, 0-0, zero, zero, you know, yeah. coming into a game. You just got to stay the course and just keep working. And, yeah, this team can make a run, that's for sure. All right, Coop. All right. Appreciate you yep. getting on the mic. It's good to see you again, Good to see guy. you, guys. Yep. All right, we're back after that interview with longtime Patriot Jack Cooper. His brother, Will Cooper, with the mid-range pull-up, knocks that one down, 36-30, the Patriots lead. Man, I forgot to ask him who's the better shooter in the family, but I think we would have known what he would have said right there. So definitely would like to see a halftime shootout. Another shoot charge charged wow. by Lance Rucker. That's it's his four. fourth one of the night. That's got to be like a state record or something. I don't think I've ever seen that. That's four charges drawn. Such an unusual stat. Yeah. I don't know what the record yeah. is, but I'm just going to go with Lance beating it. Yeah, great job. Go at 24. And here come the Patriots, Jackson Crane with it. It is senior night, and he's got the ball here in his last home game here at Millard South, at least in the regular season. Tyler Antoniak is now also in the state championship tomorrow. Punched his ticket, great job by him. Antrell Taylor getting ready to wrestle next. I mean, but we all know. We all know Antrell's going to win. Yeah. Cheerio. One of the best wrestlers here at Millard South. Yeah. A lot of good sophomores, too. Caden Nolan. Um, could also be making his push to the state championship as well. Christian Nash, too. Patriots leads 36 to 30. Oh, still. Oh. Maybe a foul there on Lance Rucker. Vikings will go to the line down by six. With six minutes left in this one. The Vikings have just had a very slow second half. Haven't really found their offense yet. Yeah, good rebound that right free there. Throw and a rebound by Mal Jaw. Not sure what. <laughs> not sure what the refs called yeah. it was there. I'm not sure. I think it was more of a warning. He was talking to number four. Thomas. Probably just a little emotional, game's a little tight. Good thing they gave him a warning right there. You kind of hate to see them, you know, just tee up right away. Especially in this close of a game. Good take, Maul. Good take by Maul Jaw, but comes up short. Here comes Omaha North, two on one fast break. Ooh. Takes it all the way, and that'd be a foul on Will Cooper. Yeah, I think he got his hands on him right there. Foul charge to Patriots, 33 Will Cooper. Oh, his fourth. Patriots lead 36 to 30. See if they can get some free throws. Vikings got to get something going on the offensive end. Maybe a free throw. Kind of jump start them back into this one. Oh. And an offensive rebound. He puts that one in. Patriots will now only lead by four. Well, start off as a slow game with Omaha North on top and Miller South up four, but also in a tight game, so. Yeah, it's, it's really amped up as the Patriots lead 36 to 32. Brock, what are you seeing from the Vikings? You know, they haven't really gotten anything on the offense. They haven't really gotten a flow yet. You know, I feel really just the energy kind of flipped over. You know, really exactly. started out with Omaha North. 
I just haven't seen a lot of the energy. They're really flying over. And, you know, they started the first half really just taking the best shot. They were reversing it a couple times, really taking up some of that clock. And they've kind of gotten a little faster, so that's what I've seen. I, yeah, they need they need some more energy because yeah. they exactly like you said, it's like so the momentum got shifted in a lot of plays from Lance, and I think that's kind of what did it. Just coming out of the second half, the Patriots really jumped on them, and the Vikings just haven't recovered. They're getting, they're still in this game because they've gotten a few free throws and yeah. some lucky layups, but they haven't really got any of their offense. It's, they've all been scoring off of Patriots mistakes, which if the Patriots can clean some of those up, they're not going to be able to score the basketball. Yeah. So got to do a better job. Both teams back out of the huddle after that timeout with 5.28 left in this fourth quarter. Oh, Trying pass. to get it inside. Uh, good help side defense there for number two, Brown. Yeah, it's just that play right there, we really didn't see much in the third quarter. But, you know, if you're Omaha North, that's exactly what you need. You need your guys flying around because you know North South's going to try and get it into Lance. Oh, might have, been a might have been a travel right there. Good ball moving all around from the Patriots, though. That'll be a jump ball. The Vikings basketball is a possession error was towards them. Patriots still lead here by four, 36 to 32, with five minutes left in this fourth quarter. You know, it started out as a slow, kind of boring game, but it's really amped up in this second half. Patriots lead by four. Good post move inside, and he finishes that one with a little flex after it. Now Patriots only with a two-point lead. Oman North starting to get kind of rolling on the offensive end. The student, the section for Omaha North getting pretty loud here. Got it inside to Lance. This is what the Patriots need. They, he brings a triple team, and now Trotter will have an open drive, and they'll call a travel there on Austin Trotter. Patriots basketball. Vikings down by two. Trying to tie this one up or possibly take the lead with a three. Let's see what they go for here. And another charge drawn by the Patriots. That's their sixth one of the night. That's his fifth, he's on. Uh, yeah, that'll be his fifth foul. It's Keyshawn Williams. Pretty good player for him. Averaging eight points per game, that's a huge loss as we are now halfway through the fourth quarter with four minutes left in this one. Austin Trotter with it now at the top of the key. Patriots have been held to zero points the last few possessions. Good drive there from Gage, and he finishes that one. They're gonna say no shot, the foul be on the ground. Good finish either way. Still go to the line for two, because it is the double bonus. Double bonus for the Patriots. Knocks that one down. Patriots now lead by three with three minutes left in this fourth quarter. Haven't seen anything from Will Cooper in this fourth quarter. One of their best players. Got to get him going. That one is missed by Gage. He goes one for two at the line.
Feed inside, a kick out three. Misses that one in and out, but a good rebound there by the Vikings. Strong move inside, and he hits another flex as the Patriots lead 37 to 36. The Vikings are slowly getting themselves back in this one with some good post scoring. A double team Maul, double team backs off. Now Gage with it. Gage has had great success, success when going into the rim. Gage trying to get some offense going. It's a one-man show right now. Good pass to Austin Trotter. Mid-range pull-up. In and out. A strong finish. That, or strong right finish forward. by Lance Rucker there. Great rebound right there. It was a great, like, kind of one-handed Odell rebound there. Yeah. And he goes up with a strong finish. Knocks the three-pointer down. He ties this one. It's not the first time we've seen an Odell play from Lance Rucker. Back, remember back in the football season? Yeah, I do remember that one hand on Nord North. That was a crazy catch and another one there. And we got a tie ball game. Patriots 39, Vikings 39. With two minutes left in this fourth quarter, we'll rejoin you after this quick break. Both teams out of the huddle now, as it is a tie ball game with two minutes left in this fourth quarter. Patriots gotta find some offense again. They went on a run to get themselves back in this one, but have gone stagnant in the last few possessions. Yeah, that Lance Rucker offensive rebound that led to a bucket. Almost a steal there. Yeah, gotta be strong with it. 39-39, every, every time, touch the ball, good take, ah, good, good take board. by Trotter inside, Ooh. another rebound by Lance, but it gets stripped, and now it'll be Omaha North ball. This is where a shot clock would definitely come in handy right here. Yeah, strong with the ball now, averaging 15 points per game. Gotta think they wanna get it to him, go into the rim. He's been a great shooter for them all night long, and also a very strong driver. Another go. turnover there. All right, now I got to hold. They're going to draw this one back. Good pass. Finish. Oh, he just held him. Not sure how that wasn't a – literally gave him a hug there. I'm not sure how that wasn't a foul. This game is still tied with a minute 10 left in this one. Again, no shot clock. Hey, how you feeling? Could this be an overtime matchup right here? I don't know. I mean, both teams haven't really been scoring the ball well tonight. I could definitely see this one go into overtime. Yeah. But I also know we got a lot of clutch players, and it is our senior night here at Millard South. I don't think Gage is going to want to go oh. out like that. And that'll be a oh. blocking foul there <laughs> yeah. as he just lowered the shoulder and drilled an <laughs> Omaha North player. Oh. <laughs> a little bit of a weight room right there. That might have been a, not going to lie, I love my boy Gage, but that should have been a charge right yeah, there. Yeah, that should have definitely been a charge. That's not something you want to see if you're a Viking. A, I mean, they definitely saw it a little bit in football. He had six yeah, touchdowns on him, so. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to see that come in full force. Oh, a linebacker commit. Nebraska just coming full force down at you. That's not what you want to see. You just drill them there. You missed the first free throw. Comes the second attempt. Oh, misses that one as well, rebound. but a good rebound by Lance Rucker. Oh, and that'll be jump a, ball? a jump ball. He stripped it from him. I'm not 
It will be Patriots ball, but that still sucks because now the possession arrow switched to yeah. the Vikings. It looked like he was on top of him right there. I don't know if that was a jump. Gage with the inbound. Tried to get it going to the Lance. Luckily, the Patriots are able to recover. Now Will Cooper with it. Haven't seen much three-point shooting from him in this second half. Or really all game hasn't been his best performance. Yeah, only one three. Good pass. Good pass by Gage. Oh, my. And break. that one will be called a charge. But, I mean, I don't know if that know. was a charge, but with the ones they called today, you got to give it yeah, to him. Yeah, right in a normal there. game, that's not a charge, yeah. but they have been calling some iffy ones all game long. It is kind of weird that the ref on the opposite side of the yeah. court called that one. It might have been a makeup call for that previous gauge truck down. Yeah. Timeout. We have a timeout by Oman North. We got 39 seconds. Brock, what do you think is being drawn up in that huddle right now? I definitely think they're going to reverse the ball at the top a couple times or try and beat that first defender. Um, I think if you're Miller South right here, you really can just try and pressure, but you just can't get beat. So they're talking over right now. I feel like they're just saying let's just switch to a zone right here. Um, but for Omaha North, I feel like they're going to reverse the ball, get the ball to about 15 or so, and then you got to get yeah, you know, number 11 is pretty much their – Best player makes the team go. So it's going to have to do something with him. Yeah, and they're a very athletic team. So if you're the Patriots, you know, like you said, you want to pressure, but not too much to where you're up in them, and then they blow by you and just get an easy layup yeah. or a foul. I mean, you never know, but they're definitely going to try and take at least 25 seconds off the clock. So I think if you're the Patriots, you're you're safe to pressure in the first, like, 20 seconds because they're going to want to hold the ball as well. So if you can get yeah. a steal forced in that amount of time, but, you know, you got to be worried if the, yeah. if the Vikings still have the ball with 15 yeah. you seconds. You see 39.2 on the clock right there. 39-39. Great ball again. Now let's see what happens in this one. I do think the Patriots are going to come out of the zone here. They do love to switch up the defenses. The Vikings are going to probably go for a two here. No reason to shoot a long tested three as they have all night long. Yep, and the Patriots look like they are going to come out in a zone. They go to a 1-3-1, something the Vikings haven't seen much all night. It's yeah. kind of throwing them off. You see it here. Going to hold the ball right here. Yeah. They are going to try and have this be the last possession, but the Patriots are pretty good at forcing turnovers out of this 1-3-1. Got to play good D. Got to have a contested shot. Yeah, got to have the hand up. Another timeout, yep. Another timeout with 17 seconds left. And now you wonder, the Patriots are probably going to switch up this defense again here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not a bad timeout right there. Um, but if you're Miller South, that's also kind of a good timeout because you can change, you know, you're, well, they're a 1-3-1 right there. You could go either probably to 2-3, what they have been uh, most of this game, and that kind of throws Omaha North up because they're probably playing in something for yeah, a 1-3-1. With, with, with Coach Lucia, he loves to switch up the zone defenses because now in the huddle, that the Omaha North coach is like, well, what I do, do I draw up a 1-3-1 yeah. play? Do I drop a man play? Do I drop a 2-3 play? I mean, it just keeps them guessing all around. So we'll see what the Patriots come out in. You know, I think it will be another zone with how athletic and just how Omaha North has been able to blow by the defenders all night. They haven't really finished that well yeah. going to the rim, but it's not something you want to bet on late in this game. Yeah. Yeah, for Omaha North, really got to get something going down to the rim. To number 11 strong. He's averaging 15 points per game. He's been your player all year long. You gotta ride with him. Hey, both teams coming out in the huddle now. Antrell Taylor with the fall, 58 seconds. He's playing with his opponents at that point. He's got a fall in 51, a tech fall, and then another fall in 58 seconds. State championship for him tomorrow. Caden Nolan going at it right now. Okay, the Patriots do come out in a zone here. Yeah, 12 seconds left. He has got the timer on the bottom left of your screen. Oh, good block by Will Cooper. Go. And now they got five seconds. A turnover oh, there. Foul. They call a foul. So Gage oh. will go to the line. So Gage will go to the line to be able to win Two this game. Here. Gage has not been their best free throw shooter all year, yeah. but he has been a clutch player for them. Yeah, Gage is shooting. 
Not very good, not very bad. And honestly, if you're Gotta Oman Nord, that's the guy you wanted to foul on this court. Also, you know, I don't know if you would too, he's also the coach's player on this court. He knocks right that there. one down. Yeah. 40 to 39, Patriots lead by one. And now the Vikings will take a timeout. And it, so it is the double bonus, so he'll get the second attempt here after making the first. So assuming he can knock this one down, I mean really the game plan doesn't change. You want to go for, if you're the Vikings, you're trying to, you got to score quickly here. You know, if, I don't think they're going to want to go for a three if Gage is able to knock this down. I think they yeah. would want a two and force OT. Yeah. They haven't shot the ball from three point well, well at all tonight. They have not been able to knock down threes. Yeah, four seconds, almost five is a lot of time. Um, they are. They don't have any timeouts though. So, you know, obviously you want Gage to make the free throws, but if it's you know a long miss and they're peep and they're fighting for the ball, it's also pretty good for Miller South. But you don't really want to take those chances. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm down. Obviously, if you're Gage, got to knock down this free throw. You don't necessarily need it, but it's going to come up big if you can knock it down. Both teams coming out of the huddle now. This place is loud. Let's see what happens here. Here comes the second attempt from Gage Sanger. Let's see if he can knock this one down. Patriots brought their players back. They don't want anything easy given up. Got Knocks it. that one down. What a clutch player. The senior on senior night. Here come the Vikings. Two seconds. One second. Layup. Oh. This is that one, and the Patriots win. 41 to 39 here on senior night. I said it earlier, Gage isn't gonna go up, he's gonna go gonna go out strong here yeah. tonight. They win 41 to 39. Brock, what did you see from the Patriots in that entire second half that led them to this win? They were a whole different team that second half. Um, and they're kind of getting hot really. Uh, not not what you want to see if you're West Side. Millard South played really well to finish this game. You know, they're making their mark towards this district and you know maybe try and get a district push, district championship, and then into the state tournament. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Great performance from the Patriots and the Vikings. Thank you so much for joining us here tonight on Millard South Media. Dylan Schiesler and Brock Murtaugh signing off.